not really the smooth start that uh, we're looking for in the sewing machine. So to uh, fix this on this foot controller uh, type 238, we have to replace a capacitor. It is, it is only one screw that uh, holds the PCB in place. But we have to be very careful to not damage the carbon pins. So by pressing the uh, controller down and hold it down, uh, then we can more easily uh, carefully lift the PCB up. Uh, first we have to move it away from the carbon pin so we're not damaging that with the, the little, little lever from the uh, micro switch. But um, now we're able to reach the capacitor, the famous reefer that we want to avoid in our sewing machines. They uh, have a not good uh, reputation. So soldering iron easily to um, re remove it and uh, I'm using some uh, solder wick to um, clean up the um, pads, removing uh, some solder so it's ready for the new capacitor and uh, of course we want it to uh, look nice both inside and outside so cleaning with some um, some cleaning alcohol on a q-tip we can uh, make it look nice and uh, ready for soldering in the, the new one. And the capacitor is uh, 10 nano farad, 0 0.01 microfarad. And it's not an uh, X rated capacitor, ordinary capacitor. And the tricky part is to um, hold it in place and uh, holding the, the soldering <laughs> It's not easy. There, we got it. And heating it up so we can uh, soldering it in place. A nice uh, soldering there. Yeah, that's okay. And uh, cutting off the top. It's not really necessary, but of course, yeah, I want to <laughs> get the same height on that new capacitor uh, uh, underneath so it looks uh, looks nice I don't want uh, anyone to see that I have it, it I, I want it to look like uh, factory sold soldiered and uh, of course putting it in place I push it down very carefully uh, not uh, damaging the um, carbon pins and uh, connecting it again and uh, that's really it so uh, let's uh, check it out the micro switch is um, working correctly so then it's just to try it and uh, see how it works now. Yes, with the backplate on, 
Uh, I'm testing it. It usually kicks in a little quick, so we have to uh, adjust it. And down, that's a common when replacing the capacitor. So I usually take it all the way down to minus and quarter turn up just to start. Try a little bit. Oh yeah. This is nice. There it is. New capacitor and starts smooth and nice.